I guess this is going to be kind of an unboxing video or a sort of post baggy type video a la EEV blog or Julian Eilet. I've never really done something like that before, but I was sent two boxes of various edible things and some other bits and pieces by various uh, people from around the world. And it starts off with Ian who says he's got a political message in here. I'm not so sure about this. I really have not explored what's in here. Uh, but he said just, uh, I can say his name's Ian, but not give his second name. Okay, that's fine by me. He sent me a dead lamp. It's a Philips lamp. Now, I also want to say I do have another one that was sent uh, with the bayonet cap by, uh, who sent that one? It was uh, Barry who sent that one. He works in a hotel and they used a lot of these. Now, these lamps, um, I have to say, normally if, if someone says they're going to send something, I kind of say, you know, I kind of like, it's 50-50 where they will actually send it. So in this case, at round about the same time, I was approached by two people offering these lamps. I thought, well, if I say yes to both, I'm bound to get one of them. I ended up with both of them. Both dead, which is a shame, but they're old lamps. These are about 10 years old, they reckon. That's about right, because they're the early days of uh, Philips LED lamps, and they experimented with the remote phosphor, which was a great way of doing things, to be honest. It's when the early LED lamps were burning the phosphors up with the intense irradiation from the blue or ultraviolet light in the chips. So to uh, remedy that, to make the phosphor last longer, they've got the LEDs mounted in circuit boards in here pointing at the outer layer. And if I point a blue laser, here's the... well. A ultraviolet laser actually. Uh, if I let's point at the Nutella as well. If I point at the uh, plastic here, it lights up bright orange. Are you seeing that as a bright orange? I think it's kind of showing a bright orange because it would normally be the colour of the phosphors and the colour of the uh, blue LEDs that would combine to make a, a white. So I shall be taking these apart in another video but in the meantime let's take a look at what we've got here. So the message is, admittedly, this is maybe not specifically German candy thus far. Post-it note. But wait, there's more. More stuff here below this. Okay, now, the drinks here, the little sort of uh, plastic bottle drinks, are a fairly common thing here. But you know what makes it kind of special is the fact it's got the different branding from another country here. So we've got the World Beer. I don't think it's alcoholic, but nice if it was alcohol. It's probably aimed at children, but that's okay. I am a child at heart. We've also got Nutella mit brot sticks. Is that bread sticks? Um, it is something that's sold here as well. So it's absolutely right that it is uh, something that's also sold here with different branding. All good stuff, though. I do quite like Nutella. Who doesn't like Nutella? So next layer down. Uh-oh. Bubba wrap. Dedicated to the memory of the democratic political career of William Babyface Haig and his populist Save the Pound posturing. This will be a European thing. All right, here's the here's chocolate euros. That's good. Uh, I'm rubbish at politics. This is because I don't give a shit about politics, except when they affect me adversely. I mean, if I was a politician, it would be violent. I should focus down onto this area, shouldn't I? Uh, I'd get rid of all the useless people, including most of the politicians, so that I probably won't ever have a political career. But there we have a baby bottle and euros for William Haig. I couldn't actually tell you who William Haig was. He was a politician in the UK. Salty that this was... Is that actually... Does that say salty? Salty that this was peppered with spicy political insults. Uh, think this is the pit. We've got to go deeper. Oh, dear. Let's, uh... Oh, right, okay. Ah. This looks interesting. Ooh. Right, hold on. Focus down. Have I focused down? Let's zoom in this. Yes, I have focused down. Salty cistern, extra stark, gesuckerts. Oh, this is going to be salty candy. Oh, it makes the it makes the tongue curl, it makes your toes curl as well. But it's very nice. Oh, chili guitar. Okay, let's put these out then. I shall eat some of the chili stuff. I'm not into spicy food, uh, but we'll see. There it is. You've hit rock bottom. Okay. So that's uh, the start of things. Let's uh, get the next uh, exhibit in. Being very careful not to uh, reveal too much 
who don't want to reveal people's addresses. Dear Clive, enclosed is a selection of classic sweets from Slovakia and Czech Republic. They do sell them in both countries as they have origins in the former Czechoslovakia. I hope you'll like them. I didn't even know that Czechoslovakia had split up. I'm rubbish at politics. If possible, please proceed with opening the rest of the contents while the camera is running. That's a bit suspicious. Keep up the good work with your channel. It's one of my f absolute favourites on YouTube. Oh, shucks. I'm not going to read any more. I'm just too embarrassed. And that, this is from Attila. So up comes Attila's box. And I've not looked at what's in this. Hopefully it's not going to be something really awkward. <laughs> or hopefully it's going to be something really awkward. Uh, first thing that comes out is a uh, Rodin. Cookies. Biscuits. I'm not sure these are. I shall open some up. How is this for intensity? I think it's alright for intensity. Yes, it is for intensity. Uh, we've got wafers. Horalki. I should also be checking what it's like for focus. You know what I'm like. Deli, which looks like a, a nuts type bar in nougat. Interesting. I'm dreading what I'm going to pull out here. Uh, okay. Mental schnehalke. I can tell you what this is based on. This is uh, based on Fox's Glacier Mints, which is a really popular sweet in the UK, which is clear. Uh, let's open one. I won't put it in my mouth. I've learned my lesson from previous videos where I stick something in my mouth and then the rest of the video is me going mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all the way through it. And then all the complaints, oh, this is, is this? No, it's not. It's not a Fox's Glacier Mint. It's a sort of white, chewy mint. That's quite interesting. I shall try one of them later on. What's coming out next? Uh, bon Paris. Bon Paris. Uh, right, what flavours? These are all sorts of flavours. They're boiled sweets, but quite look like passion fruity type flavours. And cherry and strawberry and that's interesting. A good range of flavours there. I like the way that different countries have different sort of flavour preferences. This is a piece of foam. I really have not got a clue what's in here. The next thing that comes out is Hasslerke. I'm going to have to taste these afterwards and then tell you what they are. Nestle. That's odd. It's got pictures of flowers. This is some sort of herbal sweet. Anise. Is that aniseed? Could be aniseed. Maybe I should look for English text. I'm not seeing English text. This is good. That makes them better. We've got... Uh, Willena. Or Milena. Figaro. Nougat. Nougat is quite, uh, or nugget as some people would say, is quite a uh, popular rum, but I'm guessing that's rum nugget. That's uh, intriguing. Ah, oh, what is this? I'm going to make a guess. Sojo Resi. Is this going to be a marzipan? I could be wrong. Right, okay, I'm going to have to analyse these. Am I still in focus here? I'm just going to zoom down on some sort of random canty object. Let's say I pull these in and just make sure I'm focused. That looks pretty good. Sorry about that. One day I will actually get the monitor set up here. Next thing that comes out is another Figaro with nuts. Wafers. Kavenke. I'm probably pronouncing these all wrong. More Kavinke weavers. I have to say, some of these packages were very heavy. I feel quite guilty about the postage charges incurred in sending these, but you know what? They're going to be greatly appreciated. Vesna. Ooh. Oh. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But it looks like what we might call... Uh, what do they call them again? Well... We have a candy in the UK called chocolate limes, but these are probably not lime, I'm guessing, but they're similar. They've got a boiled sweet, but with the chocolate inside. I am not sure what that's going to be. Is it going to be mint? Is there any clue in the back? Once again, very reassuringly, it does not have English on the back, which is great. Oh, what else is in here? Marina 
Recipe. Oh, it's got this anise. Is that anise seed again? What is that? That is most intriguing. I'm still waiting for this surprise that I... Cocoa. Uh, this is a coconut. This could be very similar to the UK candy called a bounty bar. I'm probably going to find a mouse trap at the bottom of this. Milla. That's uh, another wafer with chocolate on it. Yep. Um, another cocoa. Another melena. Do I have one of these other melenas? Uh, Oh, it is the same one, so let's uh, dig deeper. Okay, another of the Mila bars. Another of the wafers. I was thinking I found there's a... Oh, that's quite heavy. Margo. I wonder what that is. I'm going to have to try all these things and then just tell you what they are. Delhi, or do I uh, just leave a description of everything down below, or would that be? Yeah, I should actually uh, do it as a video, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm guessing from the look of it, this is a a chocolate bar with a chocolate filling. Then Castani, which is truffles, perhaps. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is there going to be anything else in here? I think that is it. Okay. So uh, that's a huge selection. That is going to be very interesting to try out. The things that are intriguing me here amongst all these are uh, the unusual ones. These are very intriguing. Of the... Other ones, the, uh, the, what looks like salted licorice looks also very interesting here, and these too. Right, I'm going to have to uh, pause momentarily and try some of this candy, and then I'll tell you what it's like. Okay, lots of tasting has been going on, and I'm going to warn you in advance, some of you, some of you do not like the sound of mastication. Uh, that's masticating loud, slurping, eating noises. There may be some of those because I've tasted some of these. And I'm just going to describe what each of these is as I taste it. So let's start off with the... Uh, well, that's a weird... Where do I start off? There's just so much. Uh, let's start off with this. Castane. Which is appears to be a dark truffle inside. Mm. I'd call that... Dark chocolate with a dark chocolate truffle inside. So that's Ledov Castani. I'm not sure uh, how to pronounce that. My pronunciation of European words is usually very lacking. Oh, let's uh, get the big items out of the way. This uh, big, huge packet here, Marina, is a very strange, fluffy biscuit, almost like an aerated biscuit. It's not overly sweet. It's almost like shortbread, like butter shortbread, but without the butter, it's quite odd. But very nice. Uh, that can go over there. Uh, likewise, this little brown packet is a set of little chocolate uh, shortbready type rings. The same texture as shortbread. Again, not overly sweet and with a strong cocoa taste. So, chocolate shortbread, to all intents and purposes. Uh, Ellie. The Ellie Cocoladova. Uh, this has a layer of caramel and it's got a layer of, sort of truffly type stuff in it. It's very chewy. I would say. It's truffle verging on nougat, nugget. But there's very, very strong cocoa element. Mmm. These appear to be a, a nuggety type stuff again. Let's uh, try. So this is a strong rum flavour to it. But what was this one again? 
that was rumba, so that Figaro rumba, so I would say rum truffle is the best description I could give to that. The Figaro also do this nougat with uh, hazelnuts, I'm guessing ultimately hazelnut nugget. Yes, a very sweet, milky, creamy hazelnut effect. Cocoa is ultimately going to be, oh, I, have, did, I didn't even open one of these. I've not tried one of these. Where's the scissors? I'm guessing it's going to be the coconut texture inside, very similar to the Bounty Bar. Mm. Yes, it is, but that's got a strong milky element to it. It's not like our Bounty Bar, which is very sugary and coconutty. This one has a creamier taste to it. Um, this is odd. I think Sojov Rezi Original is a marzipan. I think it's marzipan. It's very hard to say. It's, it. Hold on, I'll eat a little bit. It's very, very firm. It's got a slight rummy taste to it. And it seems much harder than normal what you'd call marzipan. I'm not sure. Thoughts in the comments below. Kofila. Kofila, again, is a very dark... Uh, paste inside. Slightly ethnically inappropriate little black person eating their bowl of stuff with their tongue sticking out. This is reminiscent of some of the packaging we used to have in the UK that's kind of been phased out for, you know, the political correctness type reasons. I think it's perfectly acceptable in the fact it's quite stylish. Mm. A very soft, very dark chocolatey paste. The wafers. Oh, one moment, please. Eating too much. The wafers are mainly, well, this one has uh, got the picture of the, the milk, and it is a very creamy, milky taste to it. So I'd say this is milk wafer. Uh, this one, well, the peanut gives it away a clue. I have to say, one of my favourite wafers in this a Chinese shop sell packs of wafers, the garden wafers, and one of my favourites is the peanut flavour. The peanut in this one is much, much milder than this a Chinese shop one. But, um, ultimately, it's just down to the quantity of flavouring that. But that's very nice. It's a very mild, peanutty flavour. This one uh, shows a cup of coffee. I tried this. I thought I was kind of expecting... A cafe, a, you know, a cafe latte type taste. I'm getting, I suppose you could say it's latte, but I'm not getting much in the way of coffee with this one. But it's a very creamy, milky wafer. Last of the wafers has pictures of cocoa beans on it. It has that picture of a cup of coffee again. It seems that wafers are recommended for drinking, for eating with coffee. Mm. A chocolate wafer is how I would describe that. Uh, this one is quite odd. It's a very heavy bar, the Margot. Uh, Margot's Cocos. Um, uh, is this marzipan? It's got a very strong rum flavour to it. You know that sort of rum, oh, rum truffle type flavouring? It's that. There's deli, which is similar to one of the other bars in the fact it's got a layer of coco uh, a caramel on top and then it's got this sort of nougat mousse and nuts apparently in it. I'm trying to remember what bar that would that be. I'm trying to remember the name of the chocolate bars. It's so long since I've eaten one of the, them in the UK. And the uh, name is completely evading me right now. I'll just eat this little morsel off my grubby workbench that has seen absolutely every possible chemical under the sun on it. This is super dark. This is a 
Ledov Castani. I'm, I'm probably pronounced this way wrong. Very dark chocolate. Uh, very dark uh, interior. Not excessively bitter, but a very dark sort of chocolate. This one, Milena. Tardis. Adroku 1957. Well, let's just presume that means traditional since 1957. Inside is a truffle and rum is making an appearance again. I think I've covered most of those ones. Now, I've not tried this drink yet. What flavour drink it is? This is the one that you just twist the top. This is where it just sprays everywhere. So let's say uh, I've twisted the top off. Let's have a wee taste and see what it's like. That is blue nondescript fruit flavour. Very typical of what you'd expect uh, kiddie drinks to actually be. An ideal for kids like me. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. That's these have yet come into the, the scene. And then the, this, we'll leave this to last, and I've not even tried this one because it says chilli on it. We shall assess that, I shall try it live, and we'll see how strong the chilli is, because I just can't handle chilli, but that's okay. That's why I'm going to do it. Now, which was, now this was the odd rent, right? This one I thought was going to be Fox's Glacier Mint type thing. And I opened it up, expect it to that clear mint. And instead, there was this, uh wrapped piece of what I thought might be chewy, but it's strange. It's almost like a really heavy fondant. It's not really, it kind of crumbles to a degree. And has a sugary middle, but then a sort of like sugar paste exterior. Very odd. I'm gonna have to eat that now. Just because I can't really get it off my fingers any other way. Mm. These ones, I then expected these to be clear mints. These are black. Mm. One moment. And the flavour of these ones is licorice aniseed is the best way to describe that. So that is the uh, How's Lurky original. I'm guessing, again, it's got that pictures of the uh, herbs, so I'm guessing it is going to be the sort of uh, the aniseed. Very nice. This one, I expected this one to have the chocolate interior. Let me just bite one and a half. It's good. It's got a kind of chewy texture. I was expecting it to be crunchier. It's crystally, but with a, a softer interior. I mean, I kind of almost like, uh, I don't think it's so much, I'm going to poke it with a screwdriver. Let's be scientific about this. Does it have the texture of chocolate? Or does it have the texture of something chewy? It's kind of a chewy, uh, hmm. Yeah. It's kind of, Semi-chocolate, but also quite chewy as well. So it's got a minty exterior with the chocolate interior. These ones are quite unusual flavours. These are boiled sweets. Very typical of uh, candy in every country. The same shape. They've even got that little dimple at the back that so many of our candies here have. I'm guessing maybe these are poured into... I wonder what sort of moulds they are poured into... Yeah, let's try one. Mm. I'll play guess the fruit. That's quite an exotic fruit. I think that's passion fruit. It's quite passable as passion fruit flavour. These ones, the ones sent by Ian Salzig Sistern, I was very suspicious that they were going to be the super salty licorice and oh good heavens see all that dusty on the surface that is not sugar 
these little stars are solidly dusted over the entire surface with salt. Oh, you put it in your mouth. Imagine just putting a handful of salt in your mouth. It's like, oh, and then it sort of gives way to that licorice flavour that they have that's so common with this sort of German sort of Dutch candy like that. Well, that means I've covered almost everything here, except the chili guitarin from Barinland. Mmm. Now, I'm not usually great with spicy flavours, so let's see how I fare. Well, they're quite big as well. Mmm. Are they supposed to be shaped like guitars or something? Right, here we go. Fucking hell. Oh. I don't know what that flavour is. I think that's another salt one, because it's really that, just like a handful of salt type thing. I'm getting a little hint of chilli on the interior. I'm not sure if there's chilli in the salt or not. It's certainly burning now. Oh, chilli guitar in. That it is guitars. Oh yeah. That is starting to get very spicy now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna have to, right, that's enough of that. One moment, please. Oh, that, I've not even got a drink to wash my mouth. Oh, I have. I've got the blue generic fruit flavored type stuff. Mm. Oh, it burns. Uh, so, yes, really grateful to uh, Attila and Ian for sending all these candies. And, of course, uh, the other, uh, the lamp was sent by... Hold up, give us a second. Uh, it was Ian and Barry who sent the two lamps. So uh, I will be taking those lamps to bits in, a, in their own dedicated video because it's quite an interesting system. I've been trying to get one hold of one of those lamps for ages because they were early on used, and they were good lamps. I don't know why they stopped using them. Maybe they were just too expensive to make, or maybe they just found that the, uh, they could they solved the problems of the phosphor degradation LEDs. But uh, these candies are all really interesting. I'm going to, uh, it's going to take a while to get through them. I'm not going to eat too much or end up icky boo. But uh, these are great. So thanks for sending them. I really do appreciate that. And uh, yes, even even the chili guitarin, which are severe. Maybe I'll take one of those across for Ralph. Maybe I'll take them several. Hmm. But not tell them what they are. Particularly these salty stars as well. But they were good. It's really enjoyable. Thanks a lot.